yes, British Airways is coming to CVG. That's exciting, just in case William and Kate wants to come visit us. So they are checking carry-on bags. They're literally making everybody shove them into the little box. They have never done that before. We've always managed to get our stuff under, but they're stopping everybody and they're charging $100 if you can't get it into the box. So we just ran down to another frontier place and started shoving ours in. We couldn't get them in. I have like five shirts on, a vest and a coat. I'm so hot. I'm carrying my magazines. Bill had to take out his water thing and put on two shirts. Look at all the clothes he's got on. All his layers and his coat. I'm so hot, I don't know what to do with myself right now. But $99 for each bag each way is $400 extra. We didn't even spend that on the flight. So this is what's happening right now. If I pass out, it's because I have one million pieces of clothing on. in Orlando where our pilot just told us it is 80 degrees. Bill looked at me and he's like, are we really going to somewhere that's like 50 degrees in Orlando? It was 80. The answer is yes. Yes, we are. We could just be like staying here right now. Technically, we could stay here right now because we could go get a condo and just stay in Orlando the next couple of days instead of going all the way over to Arizona. I'm going to have to think about that. We found a little nook here in the lounge Cheers. and had a little bit of lunch. It's kind of busy. This was the only little, like in the middle of the floor here, but we had some brownies and booze, so that's good. So we have a two hour wait or hour and a half wait to the next flight and then a four hour flight and I'm gonna cry because it's a long day. This is weird, they have both sides of the plane open. I don't know what that's going to. Oh, this side's open because it's getting the food and stuff. And this side is open for us to get in. He's trying to find a place to cram our bags. sitting here for like 30 minutes while they refilled the plane and I wanted to get them closing it but I missed it. But look at that cute bag. Uh, make under hazmat clothes. All customers should be wearing too. We're in the Phoenix airport, looking mighty fine because it's, I guess, what, nine something here, 10 something here. Oh, that's all? So that's 11.30 at home, which I know for normal people is not a big deal. For me, it's a little past my bedtime. I'd like to get into bed before that. But now, well, so let's go get our car and then a 30 minute drive. Look at this cool floor. Nice. He's walking a hundred miles per hour. Right. Here we are, wandering through Hertz parking lot. Nobody anywhere around to help us. Just being told to go wander and try to find a car. Choose any and go, it says. We have had two issues with cars in the past, and they've both been with Hertz. Finally up and moving. It's like 10.30 or 11, our time at home. But only 8.30 something here, and I've been up since almost 7. 
home time, which is like almost five this time. So I've been up for like three hours, just like watching, um, playing on my phone and finishing my Kelly Ripa audiobook, which is good. Long, but good. Um, anyway, so I think we're going to get moving here shortly if I can ever get him dressed. But for whatever reason, he felt like he needed to sleep like 10 or 11 hours last night. So um, I just got out of my shower and I'm getting dressed and then we're going to head out and see what Scottsdale has to offer today. Welcome to Arizona. Here is our condo in the daylight. I should have gotten a video of the condo up there. It was so nice and big. Here's a little relaxation area. This is where I stayed with my girlfriends years ago, and this is a really nice place. Here's our little Jeep economy car. All right, here's a brief tour of the uh, facilities in Scottsdale. Um, nice little fire pit, a uh, sun area with a hot tub and uh, ping pong tables and a pool table. Here is the main pool. There is a uh, little water play area in the back there. This is the adult pool. This is the exercise room. Arizona. Time for an acai bowl. Yummy. Right onto North well, Franklin Drive Boulevard. <laughs> the last the time I had turn. one of these bowls, I think we're in Fort Lauderdale. Where were we? Daytona. I, I don't even think I ate half of it. I was gonna share it with him. Make a U-turn. But he didn't take a slight too long left turn onto North Pima Road. Video all these cacti. This will be in a place where there's so much more. Go past but this light. Then at the next one, use the left two lanes to take a slight left turn onto Ooh, North look Pima at that Road. One that's got so obsessed with cactus. I don't know what my problem is. This is aloe, and then, oh, that one doesn't hurt. It looks like a penis, yuck. Still in my bachelorette party mode, I guess. I wonder where somebody got these out. So somebody like me could touch them all. We're walking around Old Town Scottsdale. It's really just a bunch of shops, and I know that Bill doesn't really like shopping, but I don't know. I feel like if we're in Scottsdale, he should see Old Scottsdale. So we're gonna go. There's jewelry. We gotta check it out. It is a little early. If you want one, you can. But oh my gosh, look how beautiful that is. Huh? Oh, this is so cute. Probably so pretty at night. Oh, it's dazzle. Oh, it's so 
Yo. This is called Back around to the car. Now I'm going to walk through the present because if you can be in the middle of a present, why would you not do it? It's very fun. Maybe you want to be in my backyard. over to Bell Rock and get a photo really quick. Today we're just out here getting kind of acclimated to the area, seeing some big things. I did all this research on great hiking trails and things to go see and we got to the visitor center. He's like, oh yeah, I want to go see all those things that you researched and found to go see and I'm like, oh, I left all the paperwork at home. So tonight when we get to the room, we're going to go back and watch the YouTube videos again to find all the places that we need to go hike. So aggravating. All right, we got some bill cam here. We're at the uh, church at Red Rock, whatever. There's a drone flying above us. Boy, the landscape's amazing. Oh. To me, it looks like Java's Palace. That's what everybody thinks when they see it. Crazy monster home. And here's the church. You walk that long, windy walkway up. She's just taking it in, folks. She's inspired. All right, we wanted to get a little picture in front of the base of the church. So here we are. Stopped at a shop on the side of the road. It's got a lot of really cool stuff in it. This guy is very awesome. And Michelle, Bill wants to know if that cock's big enough for you. I can't say that. <laughs> All right, where was it voted best vortex in Sedona? And there's the vortex. Can't miss it. <laughs> there is the trail. I don't think we've got the high clearance that it is required. 
but it's intriguing. All right, we're going through like a little downtown area of Sedona that's got oh, along it and it's so cute. There will not be enough time to visit the shops, unfortunately. It's decorated for Christmas. I don't know. Should we go up there and go across it? Sure. Why not? Yeah, We're in this big canyon. We've got nothing else to do. I love it. There's water down there. I mean, it's not the Grand Canyon or anything, but it's pretty. All right, we're heading over that bridge we just saw. Here, I got your video, so you, so you can walk forward and not fall and die. This is gorgeous. Hey, Amy, why do you think they call it Red Rock? It's a hell of me. This is Coffee Pot Rock. We're at West Sedona School. Right, we are at Cafe Jose. Amy got some nachos. She asked for melted queso. They typically just have shredded cheddar cheese. And then I got a fish taco, shredded beef, ground beef, and chicken taco, which look amazing. Little cute village with a deer or something. Look at all these nice little statues. It's a squirrel. How pretty. Amor. Here's the oh. cake couture place that I want to go to. There's a caramel chocolate latte. I wanted to go here the last time I was here, but I couldn't. And then I remembered it and we were driving by and they're closed again. Ooh. I blame you. Can you do the gas for me again? No. Do it again. Half of bison. <gasps> Not many people have them on tap. Do it for me. <gasps> 